afternoon so very quickly I'm gonna go over the rock shaft and some of the adjustments I'm gonna show you pictures of illustrations that are uh, copied out of the technical manual um, one these on the three R cabs okay the rock shafts are coming through from the plant they're just really all kind of jacked up because for the record I did think twice about this tractor and I only wish I bought it the first time I thought about it um, one when I got this tractor okay when my three-point hitch was all the way raised I could pick up on my <clears throat> eye match I had probably close to six inches of travel free play and it's it's supposed to be within an inch of the top so this is your feedback adjustment that was the first thing I adjusted um, and I have that now to within about a half an inch, half to three quarters of an inch of the top. So I did that and I gained about five inches of lift height on the three point hitch. The second adjustment, which I'll include a photo because it's kind of hard to get the camera in here, but it's right there is your actual rock shaft valve where the where the cable attaches to that so and here i'll include the snippets out of the technical manual now once you get that adjusted now you've got all the range of motion that that three-point hitch is going to give you without adjusting the lift lengths and there's a reason why you know this tractor and bigger ag tractors all of them the the left side lift link is adjustable because that's how you fine-tune your adjustment of your three-point hitch and right now I've actually got mine set pretty low I could I could almost raise it up a little bit um, and then the last adjustment and this goes in lieu of tractor time with Tim's video on the rock shaft lever itself now mine was probably I didn't scale it but just guessing it was probably 20 to 25 pounds when you were raising the three-point hitch now that's a very simple adjustment again I'll include a picture uh, it's a 15 millimeter bolt with a friction washer and by backing that off I think I backed off about a half a turn maybe a half a turn and uh, you know now I'm down to about six pounds going down with the rock shaft lever and about eight and a half going up so as far as i can tell you're just going to have less resistance pushing it forward than you are pulling it back i don't know maybe it's just this tractor now that adjustment you know to me that was key that should have been mentioned in tim's video because uh you know it's it's unfair to over dramatize things and and give the appearance that this is it this is how 3r cabs are because it's not it, there's a very simple adjustment i did that adjustment in maybe two or three minutes and it, it didn't take any time to adjust it it took one wrench and it's kind of tight in there so it took a couple of jiggers and I got it uh, but I didn't think that video was really fair I didn't think the video did the three R cab justice um, because it is actually such a simple adjustment now the 
the front end loader part i i don't know like i said mine must be different um mine is not that hard to move and i really don't have a lot of trouble making very fine minor adjustments with a load on or without a load um so i just wanted to touch on a couple of things there the rock shaft is very very adjustable should we the end user have to adjust it no these things really should be real close well everything other than the lift link adjustments it should be set when you get it from the factory but they're not so my advice rather than thinking twice before you buy one of these my advice would be when you get this go through sit at the dealership pre-delivery and run run through your hydraulics check it out measure it check the free play at the top of the three-point hitch when it's all the way raised and have your dealer get this rock shaft dialed in before they bring it to your house then you'll be happy uh it is sad truly sad that the end user has to worry so much about this but it is what it is um yeah there's bubba he knows i'm filming you know and my understanding quite honestly from talking to several people that i personally know Kubota's not much different new holland's not much different they're just they're slapping these tractors together in the factories and leaving it up to us to figure out how to make them right. So, or the dealer. So anyway, just wanted to touch base on that quick. And again, you know, I'm not trying to run Tim down. Uh, he's got a good channel, good videos, but that should have been mentioned. That absolutely 100% should have been mentioned in his video it's a super super simple adjustment to make so thanks for watching and we'll catch you in another one